Is there any discussion? Uh, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Yoshimoto. Uh, we received a note from Mr. Al indicating that um, he's not going to be here this morning. He'll try and be here, I guess, as soon as he can. So I guess the we have several options. We, uh, I'm familiar with Mr. Ah, I've known him for many years now. I'm comfortable in just voting on this uh, as it stands, or we can um, wait to see if he shows up later on, um, or I guess we could postpone it. Those are three options. So I just wanted to lay out the options for the council members and see what the preference of the council members are. Okay, um, Ms. Willey? Um, I would like to wait until he's here. Okay. I move the table then. Okay, uh, Mr. Tape, um, motion to table this until the end of oh, the agenda. Um, the motion was made by Mr. Yoshimoto, second by Ms. Ford. Ms. Chair, if I may still have the floor. Mr. Shi, do you have any concerns with the appointment? Is there like a deadline or something? Oh, thank you, um, Council Lincoln Shi, the Corporation Council. I think Shard in Hilo, is that her? I, I can't tell from, yes, but my understanding Late yesterday is um, I, I don't think Mr. Al is going to be here at all today. At all. Okay. I, I think is, is that sharp? Yes. Can, can you see? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Sharp. Yeah. Sharp. Can you yes. hear us? That's correct, Lincoln. Oh, he won't be able to be here. Yeah. At all. Well, yeah. At all. So you know, it's, it's completely your um, prerogative to um, you know to do you know whatever. It's, you know, you want to do in terms of if you want to defer this so that he can appear. I did want to point out that I, I did see something last night, an email from Sharon Nomura of the Board of Appeals that they are having quorum issues. And I think, I'm not certain, maybe Shark can verify that. There's something about the next meeting they may have to cancel if they don't have quorum. Shark, do you, do you recall that's, seeing something like that? That's correct, Lincoln. That is correct. So I just wanted to put that out there. I know that. Mr. Al has come before this council. I think recently he was just confirmed on Punk. Then he um, um, resigned from Punk so that he could get onto the Board of Appeals. But Ian, it's totally up to you what you want to do your call, but I just wanted to let you know what's going on. That's okay. All. Thank you, Mr. Ashida. So, um, Madam Chair, you know, in light of that, uh, I would uh, withdraw my motion, and, and I prefer to just uh, move forward um, at this time. So I withdraw my motion. Okay, thank you. Um, Dexter? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to um, speak in favor of uh, Dean Allen. I know that uh, the mornings are very difficult as he is um, with the Carpenters Union and part of his uh, job is to be there, especially the very early mornings um, and realize how difficult that is So, uh, and some of the things that they're going through. Um, so I, I'm speaking in favor of, I know Mr. Al and um, I, I value his uh, efforts to uh, give up his time for our county. So thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go to Mr. Kern. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yeah, I, I do support Mr. Al. I had the uh, opportunity to serve with him on the Planning Commission for over two years. Uh, great guy. Showed up to pretty much every meeting. Was reasonable. Was fair. He's out there in the community. He's a good family man. He's a good guy. Uh, really happy to see that he's continuing his service, and I absolutely support Mr. Al, and hopefully the rest of the council will as well. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Willey? Um, I, too, support Mr. Al, but I do not support going ahead with the vote without him here. I'd like to actually hear, is there not a quorum? I thought there there are enough people on that um, committee if they all show up. Um, I don't like going forward without him here. And I do want to speak to him, and I don't want to just rubber stamp this through. And I don't say that as anything negative against him, but I would like to have him present and speak to him. Thank you. Um, Ms. Shigmore, did you want to respond to Yeah, um, I, would, I would just like to respond to that. The reason that he is not here this morning is because he did have some staff from the union coming over from Oahu and that he had some meetings with them and, and some of his members that he could not get out of. Um, I would also like to um, um, point out to the council members that he was confirmed um, by the council in March of, two, of this year, a, a few months ago, um, to the um, Public Access, Open Space, and Natural Resources Preservation Committee. Um, at that time, we did have an opportunity to speak to him. Um, they are having some um, issues with quorum at the Board of Appeals meeting, the next meeting, and if he is not on board, they, they might have to cancel. So 
that is just the information that we received, and um, I'll leave it up to the council to decide what they want to do. I do have a nomination from the mayor. I could read it for the record and leave it up to you if you did want to vote uh, for his nomination or not. Okay. Oh, thank you. I think Ms. Lily still has the floor. So. Yes. Uh, I want to ask you what number of people are on it. Is there, in fact, a quorum? And the second, I just want to point out that the open space mission is different than the Board of Appeals, and there are different issues in, involved, and I don't think that it should be treated as one, uh, as if uh, one is equal to the other. And again, I want to stress that I'm supportive of Mr. Au. I do want the opportunity to speak to him with regard to the Board of Appeals, and I don't want this just rushed through. If there's absolutely not a quorum and you give me the date, then I will uh, record, uh, can reconsider where I stand, but I don't think they've got quorum issues as equivalent to there is not a quorum. And last I saw, there is a quorum. They may not have all the members, but um, that is not the same as not having a quorum. So um, unless you give me the, the, the number and the quorum, then I don't think that should be considered, and I don't like this being rushed through. Oh, Mr. Shiga? Yeah, thank you. I, um, Ms. Willie, I just checked my email. It was an email that we got about 2.43 p.m. yesterday from Sharon Nomura, who's the secretary to the Board of Appeals. It just says that we anticipate a quorum problem. Okay, so it, that, that's all it says. Okay, now the Board of Appeals is a seven-member board. It's not a nine-member board. And what I think that means is you need five to have a meeting. So if two members are not able to make the meeting, um, you know, you, you don't have a quorum and you cannot meet. That it's not just a, a problem that, that I just want to point out, I'm not advocating one way or another for, for Mr. Al or anything. I'm just answering this question, your question. Quorum is a problem not only for the Board of Appeals, but for a number of commissions. As a matter of fact, I was sitting there and smiling that Mr. Gomberg confirmed to the police commission because we had to cancel. Before last month, we had to cancel two consecutive months of the police Let's commission. Let's stay with this yeah. list. The Board of Appeals yeah. is important. Well, I'm just, I'm and, just responding And I just to want you. to know how many members are right now on that board. Are there currently five members, five current members on that board, or are there not? I don't know. Yes, there are. There are. So we do have. A, there are. Yeah. Okay. Well, then they can all show up. Um, I. I just think if there were not a, a quorum, I don't think this should be rushed through. I mean, I think the board of appeals is really important, and it's a very different uh, uh, position. And again, this is. Nothing personal to Mr. Al. I want to be a, have the opportunity to speak to him, Thank and you. I don't think this should be minimized. Okay. Oh, Ms. Ford, did you wish to speak? Thank you. Um, I have to agree with Ms. Willie. Um, the boards are totally different. Now, when I looked at Mr. Al's application, he—I don't know if we're allowed to talk about it—but he he selected. Uh, four boards that he would be willing to work on, and the punk was not one of them. Um, and I have nothing against Mr. Allen. I believe I voted for him the last time. So I, not that I don't support him, I do. But the concern that I have is not only what Ms. Willie is saying, that he hasn't come forward to talk to us about this particular board, but also that the mayor nominated someone or anyone when they give you a list of boards you're willing to serve on and you give them a board that they didn't ask for, their commitment may not be as strong to the board. And in this case, that has, that has been reflected in what has happened. Mr. Al accepted a position on a board and now has resigned in a very short period of time. Um, uh, Shark, would you tell us how long he served on the POMP before he resigned? Actually, he didn't serve on the POMP for very long, maybe a couple months. Um, it's just that coming off the Planning Commission, uh, when first. He realized, uh, or when we were, uh, he was informed that there was the uh, 
opening on the Planning Board of Appeals, it would just be a much better fit for him, and he did not uh, update his application. And I'll take the blame for some of that because that application was not updated. All right. I, I'm not having an issue with him wanting to be on the Board of Appeals because it was one of the boards that he selected. The, con the first concern I have is that the mayor is nominating people who don't choose to be on a particular board. And now he served two months and he's gone and we've got to get another person onto the PONC, which is a very important um, board as well as the Board of Appeals. I will support Mr. Al on the Board of Appeals, but I would ask the council to honor the request of Ms. Willie and wait until he can come in and speak to us about this particular board. The problem that the Board of Appeals is having is people attending the meeting, not that they don't have enough people. And so I'm asking this council to, or, yeah, the council to please honor the request of Ms. Willie. These are important issues that these uh, boards deal with and I think we it is is our obligation to talk to the applicant and we've always required the applicant if they can't come to the first meeting then we require them to come to the second meeting in this case he has not attended the first meeting he needs to come to the second meeting I ask you to honor Ms. Willie's request thank you thank you Mr. Yoshimoto uh, thank you Madam Chair well a couple of things you know the first thing is um, According to communication 253, uh, we have a council action due date of May 27. So we do have additional time if council uh, members want to postpone this for one additional <coughs> meeting. You know, however, you know, I think we are focusing um, more on procedure rather than on the practicality of things. And what I mean by that is that uh, we know that the appeals board, you know, uh, would be benefiting from having uh, a full quorum and. Uh, I, I know Mr. Ao, most of the council members, I believe, are very familiar with Mr. Ao. So it's not a matter of um, having any, as far as I can tell, any doubts about his, either his qualifications or his commitment. And so you know, in light of the staffing issues with the, the Board of Appeals and the fact that uh, you know, Mr. Ao is, is very well known um, to most of us, um, I'm perfectly comfortable and I would prefer to just move forward. The council wants to postpone, that's fine, but I, I really don't think uh, we're actually uh, being the most uh, productive in the use of our time. So I'd rather just move forward. Thank you. Um, Ms. Poynter. Yeah, I'd just like to say um, I agree with Jay in that um, if you have five people on the uh, committee right now, the board right now, you're risking quorum. Um, the second thing is, I think what Shar, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Shar, you said that the reason that he left the punk um, is because he thought that the Board of Appeals was a better fit for him. So it wasn't a, just abandoning that and then him not uh, putting on his application. If I heard correctly, is he wanted to be on the Board of Appeals when there was an opening because he felt that was a better fit, is that correct? That's correct. We, we normally like to encourage um, members that are coming off of the Planning Commission to transition into the Planning Board of Appeals just because they're a lot more familiar. Okay. So that is the reason why his application wasn't updated. That was, you know, and it was his choosing um, to get a better fit. The other thing that I want to point out is that Council Member Wynn stated that she uh, did not want to vote on this unless he's here because she's not going to rubber stamp it. So I just want the public to know that I am um, in favor of voting for him because I have the privilege of knowing him um, and um, I know his values and um, and I really believe in supporting him. And I just want the public to know that my voting here today is not just a rubber stamp. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kern. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I agree with uh, Ms. Moydexter and Mr. Yoshimoto as well. I think we should vote for him today. He's been in front of us. He's known in the community. He's proven himself on the other other uh, commissions. My time with him on the Planning Commission, I think he might have missed one meeting. That's, I, that's huge. And he was always consistent, always there, always fair, always reasonable. Uh, there's no reason why we should not be voting on him today. The Board of Appeals is a very important board. For them to be canceling meetings is affecting the, the, the public. It's affecting how things are operating. Uh, I believe we should do this. With that, I call for the question. Thank you. It's been moved by Mr. Kern, second by all right, Mr. Onishi. 
I had my light on before that. May I speak? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no. Point of order. While I agree with Ms. Willie, mm -hmm. the call for the question is not, not available. Thank you. Then, um, Madam Clerk, Ms. Ford, Mr. Lennon, uh, Mr. Kanuha, Mr. Kern, Ms. Donishi, Ms. Poindexter, Aye. Ms. Willie, No. Mr. Yoshimoto, Aye. Chair Eo, Aye. Chair Eo, if you have seven ayes, okay, then Willie will vote on the confirmation of Mr. Ao, communication 253. Ms. Ford, No. Mr. Lennon, Aye. Mr. Kanuha, Aye. Mr. Kern, Aye. Ms. Donishi, Aye. Ms. Poindexter? Aye. Ms. Willie? No. Ms. Dershimoto? Aye. Chair Eo? Aye. Chair Eo, you have seven ayes. Thank you. Communication 253 is approved. Or Mr. Owl is um, appointed to the Board of Appeals. Thank you.